More about functions, part one. Scope. Variables exist within the code block curly braces where they were created. Outside of that block, they are out of scope and do not exist. It is possible for different variables from different scopes to have the same name, so it is important to understand the lifetime of any given variable. Here, the a and b parameter variables only exist within the sum function, and the variables declared within main only exist and are local to main. If we try to access a and b in a function where they're out of scope, we'll get build errors. Scope isn't just for functions. If statements, while loops, for loops, anything with a code block has its own scope. Any variables declared within a block only exist within that block. Additionally, a variable is only in scope after its declaration. If we declare the variable b later in main, it still can't be used before its declaration. Pass by value, pass by reference, and pass by pointer. When we pass non-array variables to functions, by default it is being passed by value. This means that the argument passed in has its value copied to the parameter variable. We can make changes to the parameter variable within the function, but it's only changing a copy. When we leave the function, our argument variable has the original value. If we put an ampersand next to the type of our parameter variable, it becomes passed by reference. This means the parameter variable references the original argument variable. Any changes made in the function will affect the original argument variable. Calling a function that has a pass by value parameter or a pass by reference parameter both look the same, no special symbols. We can also have a pass by pointer parameter variable by adding the asterisk to the data type. When you work with the pointer, use the asterisk to dereference it. When you call the function, you have to make sure to pass the argument's address using the ampersand. Since we're working with the memory address of a variable, any changes to the pointer within the function is also reflected back in the argument variable. For the most part, you'll probably work with pass by reference, though you might do pass by pointer for a data structures class or working with more advanced features like polymorphism.